Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian and African boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. Yes, I know it's been a while. I know I've been gone for some time, but I never left. Okay, I never left. Despite being busy with other things, we work and uh, all the personal stuff, I kept on uh tapping in uh into boxing news latest boxing news looking at what's going on in the boxing world and uh right now it is gonna get very hot tomorrow the day of the reckoning the day of reckoning um in saudi arabia uh begins and it's, it's gonna be very interesting to see how the fight plays out because it is a fight that the fights on that card i know that there are huge favorites in that um in that card you know like the likes of water joshua overly favored to be their opponents but if joseph parker is really that guy that we knew i mean he will give water problems unless he's lost the motivation or something like that but anyway good news anyway good news though um it has been reported that uh the why the world of joshua potential about um could take place in may 2024 and water has been very vocal in regards to this right here Water has been calling Joshua all sort of names, saying that he thinks Joshua is mentally weak. Just, I mean, I like Water. I like the fact that he's very, like, uh, he's very outspoken. You know, <laughs> he's like, he 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 doesn't want to be the Mister Nice guy. He wants to bring war. He wants to he wants to be mean in the ring. But outside the ring, is a very cool dude. You can hang around with him. We have to give big shout outs to Saudi Arabia because to have these guys on the same card, I don't know if America, Europe or anywhere else in the world would be would have been able to pull off this um spectacle of a show in Saudi. Like anywhere else outside Saudi. I don't think so. You know, people can say, well, Saudi people, they're like the Saudi government, like they're investing a lot of money in stuff like that. You know, there's a lot of money they're investing in it. Money can just get this done. Influence does gets the, gets this done. You know, reputation gets this done. You know, commitment gets this done. For Frank Warren and Andy Hearn to sit down in the same room and work together. What does that tell you? It tells you that there is nothing Saudi can get done if they want to. That's the most important part. If and when they want to. They get business done. You have to give Saudi Arabia that. I have to say that. Tomorrow night, I'll be definitely, I'll be live. We'll cover all the fights on the card. We'll, we'll, we'll cover all the fights on the card. I'm very happy that um, the potential Joshua Ward about um, will take place. Okay, could I mean still a very big if, but I believe with the backing of Saudi, these fights will happen. Like it would happen. On this is up, it's taking place there anyway. So why not? Here's the until what I'm talking about the potential clash. Between him and Anthony Joshua in 2024. The biggest fight in the world. It's been that way for a very long time. And um, it still is now. You know, that fight has been a situation where it's been hot and cold, you know, and and every time the talks happen, it always get back hot, you know, and then sometimes somehow it'll die back down. You know, I know the how, but you know, it'll die back down. It don't happen, but now the moment has came where it's the closest that has ever been in history right now. You know, the closest that has ever been. And I'm excited to say that for that most part, I'm not 100% sure that it's gonna happen. You know, it's a lot of things that has went on, a lot of things that has been done, 
but you can't be 100% until that bell rings and that first punch is being thrown. Well, you heard it from Leon Tewari. He said, listen, this fight can take place. Um, he's still not 100%, 100% sure until the first punch is thrown in the ring. Then he'll be sure that, yeah, this is getting down. Well, I think I like the fight of Waters confident, you know, um, in himself. But it should stop down play at Joshua. Joshua can beat Water the same way Water can beat Joshua. But Joshua has more tools in his arsenal than John to Water. Although Joshua has become a little bit tentative, he's become a little bit shy to throw punches. He doesn't like love to engage anymore. And Otto Wallen is a big test, a very sleek, dangerous southpaw that uh, gave Tassim Fury, in fact, I would say big to the Fury, the fight should have been stopped. If the reverse was to be the case, Otto Wallen would have been stopped earlier than that. After, but after you know, after what he did, let's keep it right here. So, but Joshua, I like the fact that Joshua is very focused. You know, Joshua also spoke about this. And uh, he said that he's, 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 he's there to do a job and he would do a job on Otto Wallen. I know that everyone is expecting Joshua to knock Otto Wallen out, but I believe that Joshua should not go with the mindset of knocking anybody out. I think in the past, he's been pressured like to do all sort of like he's been pressured to to get knockouts you know to knock people out by the way a lot of people have asked me about yes Deontay Water discussing the potential about between him and Anthony Joshua anyway um honestly I see a man that's 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 been focusing uh and 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 if, uh, you know Focus on his, what the task that lies at hand, you know. Um, I say Miss I, but, you know, I, I'm not in his head, so I can't speak for himself, you know. A lot of people have asked me about his mannerism, the way he's been, his demeanor about, him, about himself, the way he's been reacting to the media, you know, the questions that when it comes about me, you know, I can't speak for him, you know. We, 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 we're on the outside looking in, and, and uh, we'll see. You know, he, he has a, a, a task to, a big task to complete as well. I have one as well. So when it's all over with, we can we can talk about it. But at this moment in time, it's a... Uh, By the way, I have to say this. Uh, Wilder is a swag guy, bro. Ha! Look at his grills, bro. Look at his teeth. Man, this guy is swagalicious. Now, real do be this one guy. Oh boy, yeah. the guy goes swag, I guess swag, man. It's fly. Water is like, man. Water should be a, a movie. Should be a a, a a villain in a in a in a movie or something. I think he would do a lot of damage <laughs> because he's got that aura about him. Why Joshua is like the the James Bond, basically calm, collective, gets the job done, gentleman like, dangerous, you know. I mean, I can't wait if this fight. I mean, hopefully this fight because I would have loved to see them fight as champions. But if there's no belts on the line, I think this fight is still the biggest fight in what boxing. Let's keep it right here, bro. So yeah, Saudi Arabia tomorrow will be their life. Will be will react to every fight, every fight on the card, all fights, every fight on the card will be reacted reacted to. You know. I'll be here with you guys. It's getting close to the fight, and uh, I think we're both focused on the on the same task, and that's the win. Um, and uh, I'll leave it as that. Yeah, <laughs> Joshua's got that. Um, Joshua, man, the guy is very, is very, yeah, man. Like the like, you can tell this is a new Joshua. He's not looking happy. He's not smiling like he used to. But it's gonna be interesting. So um it's gonna be very interesting. 
uh to see how this white plays are but the other car fights on the card guys don't forget that those ones are also mega fights okay <laughs> those ones are mega fights bro like um dubois jeremila my god i want dubois to listen I, i'm not a fan of dubois okay ever since he said what he said about jojo's mom i'm not a fan of him um i don't like him like that you know he earned a little bit of my respect when he fought to listen to Usyk, but i don't like him like that but i'm supporting him to be jeremy like jeremy Miller talks too much oh my god but imagine if jeremy Miller beats dubois that would be very embarrassing but i don't think he will he can because miller without a juice he's uh he's a he's um i, don't, I can't call him a bomb but he's ineffective like there's no nothing in miller without a juice without taking the a love is you know the things you normally take the pharmacist he's a pharmacist so we have to see him this why this fight is important to see how he fares against alcala dubois without the juice because he, if miller was on the juice we know he will beat dubois he will overwhelm him but when he like uh, push him to the wall and the wall will literally you know bring us out i guess you know so it's gonna be interesting to see how that fight that fight plays out water parker we also have uh uh sanchez on the card bro before i think he's also on the card against lindon uh author man i can't wait for this card bro i can't wait tomorrow what do you guys make of this by the way stay tuned for more with bangas tomorrow will definitely be there with you guys from the beginning to the end i will be here reacting to every fight every fight yeah stay tuned guys <laughs> can't wait for the day of the reckoning i can't wait god bless you all <laughs> Down, 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 down